What's up guys, Eric Prey, Focus Fishing Guide Service, Table Rock Fishing Intel. Got another video fishing report for you for Table Rock. It is Monday, March the 6th. Uh, this again is gonna be the short version that will be on focusfishing.com and on YouTube. There is going to be a longer, more detailed version available to pro members on Table Rock Fishing Intel. Uh, as far as our lake level is concerned, we are at 918.5. So that rain that was predicted last week did bring the lake up. Uh, about three feet because we're three or three and a half feet high right now. Uh, water temperature really hasn't changed that much. We're in that 49 to 51, 52 range. So eh, not really as, uh, didn't really warm up as much as we hoped for with these couple of warmer days and we got a front coming through. So that may knock it back down again. Uh, bite's been pretty good though. I will say I've not been up the Kings River and I've not been up the James. There's a lot of debris in both those rivers and just haven't, haven't gone up there because I don't want to turn my boat up, but uh, bite's been good all over the lake. Best way to know about it, best way to get the long form of this video, join Table Rock Fishing Intel and become a pro member. Get all those daily reports, weekly reports, all that information that we have for you on a daily basis to help you catch more fish on Table Rock Lake. Bite, like I said, has been better. Um, basically just gonna go through the, bait, the baits that have been working best for me. I'm still catching them on a single swim bait. I'm using the Kytec 2.8 on a quarter ounce head. Fishing it around wood seems to be the key though. Throwing it around timber, throwing it around brush piles. Most of the fish are anywhere from eight to 15 foot deep, either on trees, on brush piles, something like that. Seeing most of them on my forward facing sonar before I even cast at them. Have been catching a few on an A-rig as well. It seems like they want one or the other. One day they want the A-rig, the other day they want a single swim bait. So kind of keep that in mind, keep them both on your front deck. And when you see those fish, you throw at them and a lot of times they'll bite. And if you see them swimming away, see them just following, switch up, try something different and you might get them to bite. I uh, have been catching a few on a jig as well, mostly on steeper rocky banks, kind of the ends of the channel swings type of deal. Most of those fish are eight to 20 feet deep on a Jewel Pro Spider jig. Uh, catching a lot of those where the water's got a little bit of color. If you get back in the creeks, a lot of the creeks have some color with all this rain we had. So it seems like those fish have moved up a little bit shallower and those have been some pretty decent largemouth. Most of the fish I'm catching on a swim bait and on the A rig and I'm catching a few largemouth, but most of them have been Kentuckys and a few smallmouth. Uh, another bite that's been working for me is a jerk bait. It's starting to go away though. I gotta be honest with you. I did not catch them very well today on it. Um, caught them better over the weekend. Uh, most of the fish keeping about about 25 or 30 and working that bait over top of trees, over top of brush piles, that sort of thing. It really seems like they want a bait that's moving a lot faster now with this slight warm up in water. And then the last bite that's been working really good has been a crankbait, throwing the uh, throwing a rock crawler, throwing a wiggle wart, throwing it on basically channel swing type banks. I'm sure that bite's probably really good up the river, but like I said, the debris up the river has kept me from going up there. So I really have not gone up and fished the rivers much, but in the mid lake, um, White's, or the White River and even some down lake have been catching them on the ends of those channel swings where it starts to flatten out, basically keeping the boat in about 10 foot of water and parallel in the bank and catching quite a few fish on a crankbait, especially on a windy day like we've got today and we had yesterday, really seems to make a difference with a crankbait. Guys, uh, the bite has really turned on. I'm hoping this front doesn't really knock things in the dirt. Chance it will, but it, I mean, these fish are moving up. I don't think they're going back. So we're just definitely starting to see some shallower patterns working, starting to see these fish chasing a lot more, starting to see them feed on shad, seeing a lot more shad shallow than we have in the past month or so. So really think things are gonna turn on here over the next few weeks. Best way to know, join Table Rock Fishing in town, get those daily and weekly reports tournament reports, all the information we put on there for you on a daily basis to help you catch more fish on Table Rock Lake. If you are coming down though, wanna hire a guide, give me a call, it's Focus Fishing Guide Service. You can reach me at 417-860-4743 or hit my website, focusfishing.com. Either shoot me an email or book online. Either way, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Again, there's a longer form video available to pro members on Table Rock Fishing Intel if you wanna join there. See that longer form video, a lot more information in that video. But thanks for watching. Can't wait to hear from you. We'll see you on the water.